Hi, Life Pot number 11. This is Healing Hands. How are you? I hope everyone is doing fine, Life Pot number 11. Um, so guys, if you want to get additional information regarding what your Life Pot number is, you can go watch my other videos. Every Life Pot number 11 video that I have, the intro will give you some information about what your life path number is all right i feel like if you can go watch like four or five videos that has life path 11 the intro you will get a lot about you know what your life path number 11 embodies okay so 11 you are here mastering balance of your emotions and not swaying to what other people expect of you or how the society dictates as the way to do things you're here to teach other people through your own experience all right or experiences you have unique ideas creativity messages for others that channel through you all right and you are here to find ways to apply this gift that you have in, in, in a service to others in, in a unique way, all right? Um, you have a great vision and dream, but must have a creative and or physical outlet for your high energy thoughts and ideas to come through. As, um, you know, you, you can consider yourself as a double channel to the universe and constantly receiving messages which can create some kind of overthinking for you. So people who don't know you might think, oh my God, he's always thinking, he's always in his head, all right? So it's like you're constantly getting downloads. And some of your innate traits include the fact that you're highly intuitive, you're psychic, you know, some of you or most of you. Um, heightened sensitivity, you know, you're very inventive, you can be inspirational or you can be an inspirational messenger. You you like equality, you fight for equality. Um, you are brilliant with, you know, creative ideas. You have confidence and you're caring, supportive, you're a peacemaker, you're uplifting. Some challenges might include anxiety, extreme anger, maybe lashing out sometimes and being negative or um, self-doubt sometimes people can say you're lazy or you might feel burnt out easily or sometimes it might look like you're emotionally erratic when you're not and sometimes it might appear that you can be nervous over little things um, and that's because you're always like getting downloads always you try to figure out you know what's the best situation the best decision every time okay um you guys are powerful healers and supporters of others your mentors your counselors your therapist and you have to just step into your energetic stream and then once you can align yourself energetically with that flow there is no stopping in life path number 11 guys please like this video subscribe to the channel a lot of you are not subscribed but you you know some of you stop by every month to you know get uh, get something from these readings all right so if you're getting and you're not giving it's not balanced so please do like or you know subscribe or at least send me a message or leave a comment let me know these readings are resonating with you um and it's not an absolute waste of time that i'm sitting here reading a uh, tarot for you guys and trying to pick up the highest vibrational energy and translate that and using my body as a conduit and uh, as a medium to um deliver your messages so please 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 do subscribe click on the subscribe button click on the notification button let me get some kind of energy exchange from you because i do get emails when when you click those things and what i do when i get the email i click on it and i go it takes me to your uh page on maybe youtube and i can go just go around and get a feel i try to bathe myself in your energy so that i am picking up energy of more and more and more people of life path 11 general consciousness collective okay so guys the way i'm being guided to do the reading this time is different from the way i've ever done my readings and holy spirit is asking that i do um uh, um, uh, uh, one reading for your spiritual alignment just to pick up the energy of where you're at spiritually in your life's purpose and your um in, in your spirituality if you're in alignment or out of alignment i'm gonna be pulling three cards i have two there so i just need to pull one more card and i'm um, after that i'm i'm, I'm direct i'm also being guided to do um a love reading which i will be pulling three or more cards depending on how i'm being led 
um, to get a general feel of energy for um, your situationship, relationship, love, relationship. Um, and then we're going to do a general, you know, reading to pick up the general energy. So remember, like I always said, these readings are not, it's not going to be for everybody. It won't resonate with everybody. Like I said, it will resonate with one person or somebody. It might not resonate with everybody. So here's what I always tell people. If it's a hundred percent, 5% might be your, you know, linked to your situation. It might be 5% of the message that, you know, that you need for your own situation. So that might be the message that your guardian angels or your spirit guides or, you know, um, your higher self is able to bring across for you. So it might not be the entire hundred percent. Okay. Some of you might get as much as 50%, 75, 80. Some of you might even get a hundred, but I just, I'm saying that I'm putting it out there so that in case I'm not, you know, these things are not resonating with you. You know why? And exchange your energy with mine, like, subscribe, so that, that way we're sharing something or at least, you know, um, you're getting, uh, you know, whatever resonates and leaving the rest, okay? Life path number 11. Thank you, guys. So I think we have your three cards. The first one says thoughts, universal mind. And it says my thoughts shape my reality. Some of you have to watch what, the way you're thinking and, and i'm thinking because this is your spiritual alignments you know um cards or reading to figure out are you aligned spiritually where you're meant to be so it looks like your thoughts are shaping your reality but we'll find out what that means for you um the next one says i am an individual unit of consciousness i merge now back with all consciousness and it talks about egoless so some of you are at a point where there's no more ego all right like you're getting read uh, well i won't say there's no more ego but you're working on your ego. The egotistical part of you is dying and you're replacing it with a higher vibration. And it's, you know, acknowledging that you are one with the, you know, um, general consciousness, um, the divine consciousness, and you're just an individual unit of that consciousness. Remember, I always talk about the butterfly effect, how a butterfly can flap its wing in, in New York and it will cause a tsunami in um, Asia. All right. That's how connected we all are. Little things, something as little as the shaking of, or, you know, a flapping of a, of a, um, a wing can cause something. So we're all intertwined, interrelated. We're all one happy family. That's what we're meant to be. Okay. So we all feed off of each other's energy, help each other grow or can kill each other. All right. With our energy. So but in this case, you 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 know that you are merging now back with your consciousness. So some of you have learned how to you know fo refocus your thoughts and remove your head from the sand is what I'm being told, and um, get to a point where you know your your you know exactly what you want and you're um, aligning yourself with that to a point where you now know hey. I'm merging myself back and reuniting myself with the general consciousness. I'm aligning myself. So some of you are making a conscious effort to align or realign yourself. And the last one says, mind release. Freed. You're freed. Wow. 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 This is really good, guys. It says, my mind is emptied of random thoughts. It fills now with sound, color, light, and celestial music. So some of you might even be listening to some kind of meditation, music. Um, um, you know, some of you might be doing some kind of things with sounds or lights or colors or music or, but your mind is emptied. Your thoughts, remember it says your thoughts shapes your reality. So it's saying your mind, you're, you're quietening your mind. And when you do this, guys, you will be able to manifest. Once you can quiet your mind and align yourself, you'll be able to start manifesting, all right? Because once you, you quiet your mind and your thoughts, you know, shape your reality and you're thinking good thoughts and you're putting out good thoughts, you're getting back good thoughts. Remember 1-1 one, one, or 1-1-1 one, 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 normally, which is the number of like new beginning is also a number of, you know, that tells you that you're focusing on your thoughts. It's saying that you keep your thoughts positive, focus on your desires and suppress your fears. Your thoughts create reality. And I'm not surprised I got it here. All right. That's what your life number is you know, part number 11, one, the one, one there stands for, you know, in your life path. So I'm not surprised this also came for you. So that shows me right there. You are in alignment. I am not worried about you. Life path number 11.
that's fantastic guys all right so let's do your love reading and see what energy will pick up for life path number 11 general situationship romance love any message that needs to go out to somebody i know we're gonna pick picking three cards and the three of them doesn't have to um resonate with you one of them could right so it could be one message out of the three that will be yours okay looks like we got a bunch of them and i'm gonna be taking all of them because i feel like one person might have one message i don't know some of you might have one or two or three of these messages but you have let your friends help you it says ask for and accept support from others okay you're being nudged to expand your reach to reach out to people to open up um you know they're pointing me back they're pointing me back to egoless so some of you are at a point where you are dropping your ego to a point where it's okay for you now to ask for help okay um so you're not operating you know on with that overgrown ego but you're learning to ask for help when you need it and accepting support from other people the next card says heart to heart conversations and this tells me somebody in your uh, you know um your life will be having some kind of open mind or both of you might find yourself opening up to one another and communicating better and ex you know like finally speaking up uh, you know speaking up and saying your mind and explaining maybe things that happened in the past that nobody ever really talked about G you guys will now feel comfortable enough to discuss things like that without it causing any problem any more problems for you in your relationship the next one says very soon so it says clearly decide um okay so the heart to heart conversation I, I don't let me read it out it says I honestly discuss your feelings with each other all right so there's something calling for honesty when you're opening up with your partner um, or that your partner may be opening up and being honest with you eventually so the very soon says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now all right and and that goes back to the power to manifest and that your thoughts are creating your reality so when you decide what you want you can figure a way to now align yourself and start creating that reality so that very soon this love that you so desire may manifest itself in your life but it looks like you're aligned to a point where you can start manifesting what you want all right the next card says keep an open mind and it's asking you your soulmates may differ from the uh, usual type and expectations and for you to keep an open mind and don't be rigid and feel like oh somebody doesn't meet this criteria so for that reason i'm chopping them off the block or chopping them out and you know that's it, the you know so you're being asked to keep an open mind somebody might not at first instance you know like when you in the beginning be what you want but people do change people you know the holy spirit has a way of changing people um or redirecting people's footsteps so you're being asked to keep an open mind for whatever this situation ship is okay the next one talks about honeymoon for some of you and it says enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so i feel like some of you might be spending time quality time with your loved ones where you will have the opportunity for a heart-to-heart -heart kind of conversation all right um so some of you might be cooked up in, at home with your loved ones or you might have an opportunity now that they've um open back businesses and you might have the opportunity to um now be with your your loved ones and have the ability to you know i don't know so guys also let's dive right into your general reading and i'm going to be pulling um an animal spirit card for you guys i haven't pulled it for any other life path number so but this one when i pull it i'm gonna be reading from the book to get you like your message i just want one card but women's wisdom magic and daydreaming is the lizard and raven and then platypus or something all right so that's let's holy spirit we just want one card thank you for life part number 11 um something that can pick up their their general energy oh my god we're not gonna take all this all right it's two cards we might be able to squeeze that the two of them in we'll see all right let's see so the first one is number 34 and it talks about mother earth it's 34 is a seven and what seven means is that your path is aligned with divine fortune and for you to pay attention to 
new opportunities that might present itself to you at this time. Um, so that's what three plus four equals seven means. All right. So this is saying Mother Earth. So let me go pull from the book and read and give you your um, meaning or interpretation as to what this might possibly mean for you. So um, this says, even when surrounded by those we love and respect, we sometimes feel alone and isolated. We sometimes forget our connection to spirit and the relationship we have with the earth mother and creation. We feel apart from, you know, rather than a part of nature. We feel disconnected from the great will of life and believe ourselves to be alone. So this is kind of telling you, you are not alone. You are always being reconnected in a sacred way to the creative force of the earth. Mother's womb, her heart, and the inherent wisdom she yearns to impart. Guys, what this is saying, I, I, and I'm in awe right now, because this goes back to the card that we pulled in the beginning about um, you acknowledging that your mind is emptied of random thoughts it now fills with light and you says you know this particular uh, message right here that says i am an individual unit you merging back with all consciousness so this is also talking about merging back you know into with you know with all consciousness and being reunited with mother earth mother guy and being like spiritually which means your spiritual alignment all right and, and, and it is is being acknowledged by spirit okay so there's something about reuniting like the turtle you know can endure can live for hundreds of i don't know how many years a turtle can endure all right and and it also i'm being i'm also like being led to say that you might also be dealing with somebody who has an earth sign um i think is a earth sign will be i'm not sure go check it out google earth sign um so you might be dealing with somebody who has an earth sign um Taurus and I think Capricorn and one other sign. I'm not sure. So you might need to, you know, go check out. So if you're dealing with that person, this will resonate better with you. Um, but that's what that means. The second one says, um, Oyster Catcher. It says, it talks about concealment and it's a number five. And five normally talks about positive change is coming and ask your angels to help you manifest the change. Um, so number five is usually a number of change. But let's see what it says in this book for you guys. And this talks about concealment. All right. So a symbol of supreme mystery according to Christian tradition. Um, the pearl is a metaphor for truth and wisdom. All right. So um, oyster catcher. Okay. So it's a beautiful seabird with a powerful bill used to prying open oysters um it plunges a plumage stained with a mark that strongly resembles the sign of the crucifix okay so what this is saying is that you're being reminded that there's a time and a place for everything and that if it seems appropriate to conceal the truth of who you or what you are then do it but if it now seems inappropriate then stop so some of you might be concealing something, maybe a truth or something. Maybe there was a need in the past to conceal this truth or to not reveal the whole truth. But, you know, here, spirit is calling it out, all right? There's something in your environment this month that might need you to finally open up. Even though maybe in the past there had been no need for you to open up to, you know, you, you've had... You had no option but to conceal. So this is something about concealment. Or before you get caught, all right, is what I'm being told. Before you get caught do, dipping your hand in the cookie jar or doing something that maybe you were... It doesn't have to be something bad. Maybe something that you did behind somebody's back or something that you're concealing or something that you're hiding or, you know, something that needs to come to light, all right? But it's about change, positive change, asking help to manifest this change, all right? Um, so some of you might be struggling with... Um, with, you know, opening up is also what I'm being told with opening up. Some of you might be struggling with that and now might have the opportunity to do just that um, with the oyster catcher here. And that's part of your, you know, alignment. So I have a bunch of cards that came out and I'm going to take all of them and then we can close out your reading. Watching clouds, it says lie back, rest and relax. Infinite abundance, it says abundance is pouring into your life. Taking shelter, it says the answers are within you, and miracles. It says they expect the wondrous 
to emerge. All right? Life path number 11. Thank you guys so much. Those messages can't be any clearer. Um, so I'm going to close this reading now with an Archangel Michael prayer card. Um, let's pick one card for you guys. Life path number 11. So Archangel Michael, thank you so much for your prayers. Okay, life path number 11. Here's your prayer if you want to repeat after me. It says you're on the right path. Guys, we can't make this up. Your um, spiritual alignment card already indicated that you're on the right path. Um, it says, Archangel Michael, if you want to say the prayer after me, please do. I call upon you now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. Thank you for motivating me and filling me with the courage and confidence to make healthy, health, healthful life changes. Something calling upon you to change, about changes. All right, life path number 11. Thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. You've been such awesome support system. And I do appreciate every one of you. But guys, 90% of you are not subscribed. The views are high for number 11, but, you know, I'm not getting any subscription from, from you guys. So please click on like and subscribe. All right. Help me build this channel because the more you click on, on like, subscribe, the more, you, you know, um, um, YouTube will acknowledge my videos and kind of make it, you know, trend more. And please remember to click on the notification button so you get a lot whenever I upload your video. Um, also... Um, if you want to leave a comment, I do appreciate reading from you guys. If you also want to like send me an email, my email is healinghandstarot at gmail.com. You can send that email if you want to book your personal reading. I do life purpose reading. I've, that's been huge for me. Like I've been able to help people or trying to help people figure out what they are meant to be doing in this lifetime. Some of us would think we have a spiritual calling when we don't. Some of you would think, oh, I'm meant to be a business owner when you're not. Some of you would think, oh, I'm meant to work for myself when you're not. You're meant to work with you know, a group of people, or meant to work with um, um, a, a partner. Maybe your success will grow or definitely your money, your being a millionaire, able to be a millionaire might come from you working with somebody and you're not understanding it because you don't know your life um, purpose and you haven't figured that out I can help you do that <coughs> alright guys thank you so much I appreciate all your support this is Healing Hands life path number 11 until next time bye